welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm hannah um and today i'm just gonna be taking you through like a full day of eating day in, oh, sorry i've got a really bad bad head uh day in the life just because it's a monday and i wanted to show you how i like to start my week like a few little things that i do sorry some people downstairs are messing around um how i like to start my week yeah what things i do to kind of get me in the flow and like motivate myself as i was literally saying yesterday that I think when you're like self-employed, sometimes it's so important how you structure your day because there are some days I just could stay in bed all day if I wanted to. I wouldn't get anything done and I wouldn't get as much work and I wouldn't get paid as much, but I could. So it's just like defining, yeah, building a structure and making like a working day, like a nine to five out of flexible working, I guess. That's probably the best way of putting it. So I've got my, it is now 10 to eight. I've been up since like quarter to seven. I just woke up this morning. It's a lot cooler in London today, um, which is quite nice because in the last like week or so, we've had obviously had really hot weather and um, I've just been woken up by the heat and you, nothing worse than waking up and feeling really hot and kind of sticky. Whereas it was a nice cool breeze coming into my room today. And I, yeah. I just felt very well rested, wide awake, and I was like, right, I'm gonna get up. My alarm was originally set for seven anyway, so it was only like 10 minutes earlier than I was going to get up. But I think when you're wide awake, you get up so much quicker. Like, I was just, yeah, ready to get up. Um, but I still sound a bit tired, like groggy. But I've got a coffee, my cute little mug. This is from Oliver Bonus, best thing I've ever bought. I love a bit of like cook cookery, crockery, yeah. So like any mugs, plates, bowls, in my flat, it's just like a mixed batch of plates, bowls, and stuff like that. I'm gonna have this coffee, write out my to-do list for the day. I kind of like roughly know what it is in my head. Normally I do this on a Sunday evening, but I thought I didn't get around to doing it last night and I've got the time this morning. Um, so it's quite nice to be able to sit and just do this with my coffee and not rush. I'll put some music on, just kind of wake up slowly and just like plan out my day because I think sometimes it's great to plan out your day in advance but it doesn't give you much flexibility so yeah it looks like it's going to rain this afternoon I kind of wanted to go for like a walk get some steps in I find in the afternoon that's when I start losing kind of motivation I get distracted so it's quite nice sometimes to go out for a walk and then come back to doing work I'm doing a gym class this evening with some friends which will be really nice um yeah, and we're going to come back and have dinner, so I'll obviously show you all of that as part of the video. So I've just got some breakfast, I finished my coffee, I wrote on my to-do list, I don't want to show you what's on my to-do list, but like, yeah, she's wrote her out. She's got like priority and then like extra things if I have like time, or things that I like to do as a break from like concentrating, if that makes sense, so like, I need to hoover the flat kind of thing, and that's like my get up and move around. If I've been sitting at my desk all day, I need to go through my like drawers like tidy up I've got loads of like washing that's just kind of like sitting folded on the sideboard but not put away yeah I've got some mini weed fix for breakfast just to make it simple so I can get on with some work I'm doing some coaching work this morning I'm just sending off um someone's like next month plans and just like going over that and just making sure that I've got everything in that I need before I send it off um, and I will put my link to my coaching um, inquiry form below because I have got some spaces opening up in August and I know like a lot of people I think you don't want to start something in August because everyone's very busy you've got lots going on in the summer but realistically there are no excuses you can start at any time so if you want to like better your mindset today and your relationship with food and fitness like exercise then inquire below and we can jump on a phone call and chat about yeah your goals and how I might be able to help you. I thought I would show you this new set because I'm literally about to shoot some content in it and um, literally just get some stories and some pictures um, because the announcement of this is going up today when this is being filmed so it is currently the 25th the 25th of uh, not August July 25th of July um, and this is the new Tala seamless set so literally no seams it's honestly insane little bums crunch detail to kind of flatter the bum this is it in the grey colour cute little back with the taller detail um but yeah so they're announcing today at 12 pm that this is launching on thursday you can get your hands on it thursday so this video is going to go up on wednesday so i will leave my support code and my discount code below so if you do like this you can have it ready for when the launch when it goes live tomorrow so 
it's Wednesday when you see this and it's gonna go live on Thursday but honestly this is so 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 soft like I knew I was gonna be impressed when they sent me the email saying they're releasing this collection I was like oh, my hair looks like shit um, I was like, I knew I was going to like it. I was like, wow, super soft. Made out of recycled materials. We love, 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 love. Like, tick, tick, tick. Um, little, like, like I said, like, it's quite, it's very stretchy. So it's really flattering your bum. You can pull it up and like, um, I know a lot of people's problems with the Skin Lux collection is the front seam. We obviously don't have the front seam on this. There's like slight rib detailing on the side to kind of create like a contoured look. Um, the bra is super supportive, has like fitted in pads, but they are removable too, they're the ones that you can like pull out, which is pretty standard on sports bras now. Um, but yeah, I knew I was going to like it, but when I tried it and I like, actually worked out and I was like, shit, this is really nice, like, it's really breathable. I think if I was to compare to kind of give you an idea of the quality of the collection, it is very similar to the, it's like very similar style and vibe to Gymshark's Vital Seamless collection, but... I hate to say it, it's better because I find the Vital Seam collection, they actually have the inner seam and they go pretty quickly. Um, I've had quite a few pairs rip, which, and um, yeah, and they almost like too stretchy. This one is super stretchy, like I feel like you could have sized down maybe in the leggings, but I think if you size down, that's when you're like compromising like the see throughness. Um, anyway, but yeah, it's got, they've got them in pretty like chilled colours right now. So I've got the grey on, um, but I've also got. I've also got this like kind of like bluey grey marl colour which is super cute. This, so it comes in, you can get the long sleeve tops, you can get the short sleeve tops like this which you've got the fitted pads in. And then you've got the shorts as well that have got like I said the bum scrunching, the little Tyler logo. Like the branding's really subtle which is quite nice. The shorts are pretty small, these are a size small and they actually fit me perfectly. Like I said I wore them to the gym the other day, I wore them to F45 and I was like oh no one notices. Like it's an unreleased collection but like no one's really going to notice anything. And people are like oh my gosh I've never seen that Tyler collection before. I was like, shit. Like, luckily, none of you work for Tala, I'd be screwed. Um, so, yeah, it was very well received, and people were like, it's so flattering. Like, they were like, can you feel the material? And I was like, yeah, it's super soft. Like, honestly, I wish you could feel it. I'm just, wow. I'm just really, really impressed. I'm so happy for them because now they have, I feel like they are really ticking all the boxes. Like, they are making, Tala are really making it like a one shop one stop site, I think that's what they call it, when you say like, you can really get everything in your wardrobe on there, because these leggings also come in a black colour, they have a really lovely black colour, like this kind of like beigey brown colour, and I think if you, if you have them in a black, they're such a good basic legging, can be like dressed up, dressed down, same with the long sleeve tops, and um, the long sleeve tops have like just a small like, like the tile on the back of the leggings, like their Zaytees, they just have them on the front, which is super nice and just kind of discreet. Um, as well as that they've got the 365 collection, they've got the swim collection, they've got the skin lux collection for people who like that kind of more like, I want to say like slinky material, like it's more like Lululemon's vibes um, kind of material, so yeah, and this is more of like you kind of gym girl, simple, seamless, set, and she's Oh, oh, sorry, this video is obviously not about this, but I just really wanted to share my excitement about this. That's how happy I am that they've managed to create a set like this. Because these are the kind of sets that everyone wants, but like the ones that are produced by Gymshark and like, I can't really, I shouldn't really like slam down brands, but a lot of brands on like their competitors don't produce these sets in a sustainable way, whereas Tala do. Um, I'm pretty gonna do sets for like, I think it's. 85% recycled material, but I'd have to fact check myself, I'll put, put that below, but which is so much higher, like even the fact that it's recycled um, makes such a big difference, and I think if you're choosing between getting this set and maybe the Gymshark Vital Seamless set, then realistically the sustainability aspect should just sway you this way, because also look how fucking nice it is, it's funny because I've got the Vital Seamless set in the like dark grey marl, which is like very similar colour to this, I'm sorry, bye bye, <laughs> bye bye that set. What you are balancing on the cereal box. Do you fall over? You know why. Um, I'm just about to make a snack. I've just got some pictures, got some rinky pictures in this set, which obviously I explained before that I'm obsessed with. Let me show you the pictures I got. I made a TikTok, but instead of drafting it, I accidentally posted it to my story and now I've like lost the TikTok. It's so fucking annoying. Um, but I got some more like 
chilled out one. It's very posy. Which one am I going? And then smiley, because I fucking love it. Little mirror selfies. Good mirror selfies are just so easy. Like when I try and do a tripod, it takes so much like going back and forth, checking them, like, oh, that angle doesn't work, or like the lighting's really bad there. If you watch my videos on me, you'll know I'm a sucker for a chocolate biscuit. Um, and I just recently put a fresh pack of digestive biscuits, so that is what I'm gonna have. One little biscuit. Because I'm gonna have lunch soon. And it's gonna take lunch till like 12 because I'm hungry. Me and my crazy hair are back. So I'm about to make some lunch. I'm actually gonna make like a healthier gyros. Is that how you say gyros? Like the Greek flatbreads. So I've got these. Oh gosh, crazy. These are the flatbreads that I use, the Greek style flatbreads from the deli kitchen. I'm gonna use one of those. And then I've got this spice mix I haven't tried yet from Just Spices. This is the barbecue seasoning, which obviously sounds a bit rogue. But I think that's gonna be the best one out of the ones that I've got. Um, just to kind of season my chicken with, it's got sea salt in, black garlic, grated tomato, smoked paprika, cacao powder. I guess that's what makes it barbecue flavour. Um, toasted onion, paprika, tomato, grated onion, chilli flakes, ground chipotle chilli, cumin. So it's just going to give it this nice kind of garlicky, spicy mix, which we love. So I'm going to chop up, dice up some chicken now. I, when I made this before, I made too much chicken and it just kind of overloaded the wrap and I want to get halloumi in it too. So I'm going to try and use less chicken this time. So we've got 80 grams of chicken in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Alpro yogurt. Um, this is just great to kind of marinate chicken in. Obviously I haven't left it in the fridge, but I just, I'm just gonna go in with some of the barbecue, oh shit, quite a lot of the barbecue all rounder. Um, and then I'm just gonna mix that together with my spatula and cook in the pan. My chicken is cooked and so is my halloumi. I'm just putting it on here so I can construct my little flatbread. I'm just gonna chop up some tomatoes to go with it as well. So here's my lunch. It's literally tzatziki, lettuce, um, tomatoes, halloumi, this, the chicken that I cooked, of chicken, and it actually tastes so, so, so good. And then a bit of sweet chili sauce. Really nice, simple, and yeah, high in protein. I feel like I literally zoomed in and I don't know why, but I'm just popping out to go get some steps with my friend Abby. I won't take my camera with me annoying me because I don't have a bag. It's really annoying the outfit I'm wearing that she's got. So it's an all. I've got the Tala seamless leggings on and a little golf bathroom tee. So yeah, I don't have any pockets in my blazers because I thought it would be too hot for a jumper. It's very like muggy today. So yeah, I'll get some clips on my phone. I'm gonna take my phone for safety reasons. Um, and yeah, and I can slot them in. This is so zoomed in, what's going on? I hold you miles away. But yeah, I don't own an iron before everyone comes at me. But this super creased top. I literally, I actually wear this as a bed top as well, which is a funny thing, but it says don't call me on the back, which might stop people from wolf whistling from their vans when I'm in my leggings. It really pisses me off at the moment. I was saying the other day, like, I really don't like running in London because you just get, and I know you should just block it out, but you just get so many people beeping at you. And I've been waiting outside the road to like cross because like most of the routes I run now have to cross a road at some point, which is a bit annoying because you have to stop. Or I just sprint across the road and cause havoc. But, which I wouldn't suggest, not safe at all. But yeah, like people always beep. And it's just like I could literally wearing leggings, and like even in the gym the other day, like some, literally someone came up to me and they told me that my ass looked nice and his leggings. Which yeah, it's a compliment. It's a compliment, but it just made me feel really uncomfortable because I didn't need that compliment. Like it was really lovely, but it's not lovely from you. Do you know what I mean? It's a compliment. That's quite. That's not like oh, like that colour looks really nice on you, or like wow, where your leggings from? They look so good. That's like a, your ass looks nice. That's what, what they said. That's what he said. He was like, wow, what a peach in those leggings. Your ass is unreal. I thought, ew, go away. Like, that's not appropriate at all. I'm in the gym. I'm here to work out. And I've got my headphones in. If I've got my headphones in, I don't really want to talk. Like, that's my personal opinion. Let me know your opinions on people approaching each other at the gym. Because I was talking to my sister about this the other day. And she was saying, like, maybe if I was single, I wouldn't mind it as much. Because, like, but it's not, it's not... 
a place it's so i feel sorry for guys because it must be hard to read it i mean what this guy said was just inappropriate but like you should feel comfortable enough to go up to someone in the gym because i always think like if you were trying to meet someone who's got similar interests and like you're really into the gym if you meet someone in the gym they're more likely to be into the gym too kind of thing so you might want a guy to approach you in the gym because they're going to have similar interests and that's like such a good place to start but for some people they just want to go in get their workout done and not feel uncomfortable and like leave and like also obviously when a guy comes up to you it's not necessarily an uncomfortable thing i think it's all about how the guys go about it but yeah let I me mean, know your opinions on that because i'm really intrigued by what people think because i do think it's a there's a really fine line because like i said if i was single like i'd love to meet meet someone in the gym would probably be an ideal situation because they that's like you already have one common interest if you see them in the gym all the time kind of thing and like i love a gym buddy i like going to the gym with that kind of thing um but yeah every time i've been approached in the gym it's just been really inappropriate i've never had a good experience with it hello i just got back from having a little drink we literally just showed in starbucks to be fair we got a drink and sat down and had a little catch up and i'm just Gonna get my hair ready to go to the gym. I can't seem to prop you up near my mirror, but this is the stuff that I've been using to style my hair. Cause I originally used this, but this is really tacky and it's great for your eyebrows, but not so great in your hair cause it really clumps it. But this is more like a gel, like pomade kind of style thing. Um, and it's so cheap, it's literally a pound from Tesco. So yeah, would highly recommend. I'll show you what it looks like. It gives like a wet look. Um, really slick back, shiny kind of look. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put my hair together and head off to, I'm going to One Rebel tonight um, to do their rig strength class. I've done the intensity class before, but never done the strength class, so I'm intrigued to know what it's going to be like. Um, but yeah, I need to get going because I've got to get the bus there and the traffic's really... The hair is done. Look at how silky thick that is without getting my fat nose in. Like, it's just wow. I look like an egg, obviously. I don't really have uh, the face shape for slick back hair, but it is super practical. When working out, that's why I keep the little pieces out the front to kind of frame my face a bit, even though it doesn't really make that much of a difference. It's cute. I'm comfy and I've got a sports bra on, and I'm just going to take a tote bag with a jumper in. Is it cold? We're going down there. We the change room. I don't want to show you too much in the change room. I left the house and the blazers. I went out in these earlier and I forgot to come in the change room with my trainers. Hello, the egg is back. The egg is like what well, is a really effective way of working out with like slip back hair. The problem is when your hair gets like greasy or like sweaty, then I think it makes the like gel go weird. But nevertheless, very practical, keeps it out of the face, but sorry, slip back is professional, I think. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I'm home now. Um, I didn't get to like take you guys in the class. The class was very busy. I wasn't expecting to be that busy because I've been to that um, Hammersmith studio before and when I've been before it's not been that busy but it's obviously a lot more popular now and they always have deals on class pass. So I would definitely recommend if you're like this side of London um, and it's relatively near to you, definitely go. A bit annoying because my sister was meant to come with me and she was like literally like 30 seconds late and they turned her away which I thought was a bit like hate to be one to complain but I thought that was a bit, a bit muggy really. It's a bit ridiculous, it's just a bit silly like it would have taken like we were literally just warming up if that makes sense like the class had not really started um and it's just like if you, you're meant to be like getting people involved in working out and like that's just it's just petty it's not worth it like the instructor could have come over and just like quickly filled her in i could have explained to her i've done it before and um, but so i've done the intensity one before but i've never done the strength one and the strength one was good um I think it's a lot more just strength focus really so it's a lot more rest and yeah kind of like pushing your muscles instead of like your cardio but because you have like you have four stations you have the rower the rig which is like a floor really um because you don't hardly ever make you do pull ups and stuff and then this air assault bike and then a bench so yeah and you have like the rower and the air assault bike for like your cardio um but they still did like some cardio moves like you have to do like kettlebell swings and stuff on the floor but yeah it's really good i would rate it a 7.5 out of 10. i would go again the thing is with one rubber though it's just expensive but like, i got it on class pass um because i had some free credits 
but yeah I think at the moment they're, they don't have a discount on so it's like for two sessions like two one-off sessions like it's cheaper if you buy them in bulk but for two one-off sessions it's £39 which is just a joke that's more than my gym membership a month I'm gonna sneeze but yeah what was meant to be three of us working out together ended up being just me which was so depressing I was like, I don't want to do it anymore. I was already excited for all my friends no to be friends. there. I got no friends. <laughs> my friend like messaged me this morning because she was meant to be working in Wimbledon, which is really nice to us. And I was like, oh, let's do a class together. Like we planned it like a few days ago. I just got food poisoning. She's been being sick all day. Well, she thinks it's food poisoning and it sounds like it is. But yeah. And then my sister got rejected. So that was fun, wasn't it? But look, dinner is coming. Quite nice coming home and dinner's being cooked for me. Just garlic bread. Wow, that makes our oven look really shit. I never try to show the inside of our oven. <laughs> Should I take it out? Mm. Ready. Yeah, yeah, I would. Oh, look at that. Literally having single pasta. You know what we're trying? Our cupboard still doesn't have a door, so it just looks so messy. We're trying this new Heinz tomato sauce. This is the mascarpone one. It looks very good consistency. The jar looks a bit me, but. We thought we'd give it a go. Tita. Maybe you should do that as a video. Oh, my spices. Do what as a video? Testing tomato sauces. sauces. There's only so much pasta you can eat in a day, though, is there? I know. Just film it over time. Yeah. I want to do like a no, week's no, worth of dinners or something, like every evening, just checking, but like, right, this is what for dinner. I don't know if you'd like that, guys. You okay, do? Wow. Yep. Dinner's done. Literally eating like half a garlic bread as well. Look at that. Let's try the sauce, shall we? Literally mop that up. Oh god. Grey's the matter, he's taking me off. Oh dear. She's hemorrhaging. <laughs> I know the terms now. Watch too much. But yeah. Would rate the hind sauce. I mean, it's that bad. Seven out of ten. A six. Once we added like a few herbs and spices, it was quite stark. It literally was just tomato with a bit of like mascarpone. It wasn't very cheesy. Obviously, I didn't mind because I slammed it back. But I think that's because of the bacon bits in it. A bit of onions. We added some chili flakes, salt and pepper. You know, it did elevate it a lot. I think I'm gonna have. Try. I made these little travel things earlier. Um, so I'm gonna give one a go. I haven't photographed yet, so I'm only gonna have one. But yeah, we'll give those a go. Mmm, nummy. She put a on a plane last night. This little cookie dough vibe. Yeah. So it's actually the next day now. I forgot to sign this video off last night. Whoops. Um, I just ended up watching Grey's Anatomy, like five episodes, and pretty much addicted after having dinner, and then like literally had a shower and go into bed and I just forgot to pick up the camera again I was like I'll just finish off in the morning but yeah thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up I'm about to head off to reform pilates this is the new honor active color how cute summer colors line um yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and um, yeah I'll see you in my next video